beautiful souls. I hope you're well. <laughs> Today, I wanted to um, share a little bit with you on a topic that... Um, personally concerned me today, and I thought it would be interesting to share a little bit about it. It has to do with trust and trusting oneself in different, uh, you know, aspects of our lives. Um, I think that uh, very often we we tend to think that trust will, will be something that is kind of a result, you know, uh, a result of a of taking certain measures, or I don't know how to say this, but... Um, that is something that happens to us, I guess would be more appropriate, appropriately said, something that happens to us. And I've learned lately personally in my, you know, in my everyday life, um, that trust is really something you decide rather than something that happens to you. Um, I will give you a very good example. Um, presently, I'm working really hard. I'm being trained in an online job and I'm doing type of you know, some type of tasks that I've never done before. Um, so it can be a little bit challenging for me. And uh, I love it. I love what I'm doing. But it's at the beginning, you know, when there's a lot of things happening at the same time, you can feel a little bit challenged and you're like starting to doubt yourself. You know, I'm, am I going to make this? Am I good enough? Am I, you know, whatever, whatever. And not everybody has, you know, um, personal trust issues or issues about uh, trusting oneself. <laughs> some. Some people have more self-confidence than other. Uh, I am not the most self-confident person in the whole world. So I have to say that sometimes I may, you know, doubt myself and not trust myself on certain things. And so yesterday evening, you know, at the end of a, a long day of training, I was thinking, oh, you know, am I am I good enough for this job? Am I doing this well? You know, am I, uh, you know, I was I was doubting myself a little bit. And then yesterday evening, I, I realized I was like, well, are you, you know, why are you relying on an exterior source to give you support and to give you trust in yourself? I mean, it is your role after all to give yourself that feeling of inner trust. Uh, because if you don't do that, again, not only are you going to depend on other people, it may be a partner, it may be friends or it can be your boss, you know, and, you know, in my training, for example, I could be always relying on, on the person who's kind of training me to, you know, answer all my questions. And yes, it's, it's his role and that's perfect. But um, it's also important that at, at a certain point, I'm able to kind of stand my ground and own myself and say, no, I'm, I'm going to try this. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to trust myself in my decisions and in what I've learned and everything. And um, so suddenly um, yesterday evening, after feeling a little bit discouraged, I thought I should, try to change my frame of mind. I should try to change my paradigm and start with the idea that, you know, I have all the answers, not only within myself, but also that I'm supported, not only by my colleagues and my boss, but also, you know, from upstairs and things. And that um, I, I'm never left with a challenge I'm not able to, you know, to deal with or to, to face. And so if I am a little bit challenged right now, I think it really has to do with me being tested about my own trust in myself. And I found that this was this thing happening in my job context was interesting because it was also kind of referring in a way to the type of trust issues I may have regarding my transmissions. I have shared with you that I, I'm sharing with you very humbly these transmissions I receive from um, my higher guidance. And, you know, sometimes I do tend to doubt a little bit myself and I'm thinking you know I'm so afraid that I would let down anyone or that I would not be uh, transmitting things that would be true or anything like that that you know I'm super careful I'm always being very um, how can I say very uh, safe in a way you know and sometimes I'm I think my guidance knows that I'm not necessarily at a point yet where I'm ready to transmit really far out things that I would not be able to verify somehow and that somehow I'm like oh you know I'm a little bit shy about that and I think I'm giving being given a little bit of a nudge by the universe uh, and my guidance to tell me that it's now time for me to be more trustful about myself and really trust my intuition trust my instinct and go for it and if I make a mistake then I'll make a mistake and you know I think the most important thing in our life is not so much not to make mistakes 
But to be able to go back and to apologize if you made a mistake and 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 have the humility to recognize your errors and and have the humor and, and the self uh, humor or derision to be able to say, okay, I made an error and, you know, you laugh about it and then nobody will, you know, hold a grudge against you because you've done it in a way in which you were not caught up by your ego, but you were able to go back on your action and say, okay, I made a mistake here and, you know, okay, I'll, I'll do better next time and everything. So for me, it was a very important um, life lesson yesterday, not only regarding, again, my job, which was really putting a kind of um, a spot, you know, on this aspect of my life that I needed to work a little bit more, more on, which is trusting myself, trusting my intuition, trusting my, my you know, what I feel. And usually, usually it, it works well. So I think this is something I also have to, in the context of my transmissions I share with you, is something I really need to um, to put in 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 practice very very much. Something else I wanted to say about the subject of trust then is that uh, trust is then something you have to choose. You know, like yesterday evening I decided, okay, I'm not going to be the victim of a moment of discouragement where I feel like I'm, you know, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm good enough at this or at that, at that task or whatever. Tomorrow morning when I'm going to start my training again, I'm going to feel trustful about myself and I'm going to trust myself. And it's a decision I took. It's not something like, oh, I hope, you know, my guidance will, you know, or I hope source will give me this way. You're sovereign, you know, you're, you're being completely, um, you trust yourself and you're being entirely, um, sovereign and you you just say to yourself i'm gonna do my best and comes what happens you know and just to confirm this morning you know i had my training again and i felt more confident everything went flowing much more uh there was no resistance in the different elements around me everything went super well and so again this is a, a very very you know, small little life lesson I just wish to share with you, just in case if, you know, today you're going through a day where, you know, you're doubting yourself or you're, you're doubting your, your capability of doing something or capability of receiving, uh, you know, accurate information within yourself. I really strongly encourage you to, to, to make the conscious choice to trust yourself and, and, you know, own yourself in that way. And things will turn out amazing in general because you're you're ready to admit that you're wrong if it's necessary but at the same time you're ready to own yourself and to trust yourself so it's something i would invite you to explore as well if uh, you have um, inner trust issues <laughs> um just wanted to share that little uh, anecdote with you because you know, sometimes when someone tells a, tells us a little bit about an anecdote about something they went through in their day sometimes it can just be the right thing at the right moment for us and it's like oh yeah it's true that you know maybe i should either work on that or that, you know, kind of resonates with something I've been going through. So I just wanted to share that with you. So have a lovely day. I send you high vibes as usual. I invite you to stay in your high vibrations and um, to trust yourself and trust, you know, stay centered in that place of, 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 of inner trust and uh, trust in your guidance as well, but don't rely only on exterior sources to support you. Trust yourself. All right. I love you. Take great care of yourself and we'll talk soon. Bye. All my gratitude for helping this channel bring positive vibes to more people.